After a brutal day of fighting, dusk approaches and Allied soldiers are still trying to get off the beaches of Normandy. Just off Omaha Beach, with half a jaw, shrapnel in his head, and a hole in his foot, Hal Baumgarten is about to be hit again. Well, it was a German machine gun about 50 meters down the road and trained on that road, uh, an MG-42. And um, everybody got ambushed there. And I came a little late and I was crouched over. So I got a bullet. Uh, it came through this piece of lip, took away this piece of lip, and took out my right upper jaw with more teeth and gums on my tongue. So uh, there I, and I fell on top of these guys who didn't matter anymore because they were, they were just about gone. For the first time on D-Day, Hal begins to lose hope. So I used up my last morphine and the moon on D-Day was the brightest moon I've ever seen in my life. And I'm laying with six dead GIs in a ditch. Hal Baumgarten is found lying in a ditch with six dead soldiers. At last, he's in the care of the medics, heading back on a stretcher towards the beach for evacuation. But his ordeal is not over. German snipers were, were to my left up on the bluff, and they started firing at the wounded. They put a bullet through the Red Cross on the armband of the aid man. They shot me in the right knee, which wasn't a bad wound, believe it or not. But the next one was going through my, between the eyes. And just then, the destroyer McCook came offshore with the bottom scraping the bottom. And the gunnery officer became my friend in recent years. He wiped out the snipers with the five-inch guns went right over my head. And you saw a puff of smoke coming off that bluff, and the snipers were wiped out, exterminated. I like to use the word exterminate. 